All right, let's finally, finally, finally get to Fuchsia City, shall we? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a Rhyhorn. Hello. It is a Rhyhorn. There we go. Rhyhorn looks worried about the water. Come on, Rhyhorn. It's just a bit of water. Oh, this is no good. We're trying to get to the beach, but Rhyhorn is definitely afraid of water. It won't get anywhere near it. If I only had a Pokemon with the move Strength, then I could push it all the way over there. Uh, if you use Strength to push Rhyhorn, it's just going to fall in the water and die. Um... Well, okay, we gotta come back here when we get strength. I can't get the Pokeball, that's right. We just gotta head down here. Are there any, like, no. I was gonna say, there any any hidden items, but you can't actually go, go through here, okay. And we got some more battles. Let me go into my options and put it back to 3v3, see if this works. I have restarted the game. You need to use TMs to teach good moves to your Pokemon. No, no, you don't. Well, actually, yeah, you kind of do. Hey, it did work. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got Rotom and Lopany, Rowuni, Wobsian, which isn't a custom sprite, yet. but then look at Clinkardos Klink there. That is so, so cool. Wow, okay. Um, we'll flamethrow you because you'll be part steel. We can draw Twister to hit all of them. And then you can honestly just Shadow Sneak, um... No, they'll both be part normal type. We'll Faint Attack... Actually, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll Faint Attack, uh, Wobzian first. So, Flamethrower, boom, super effective. Twister to hit all of them, do a bit of damage. There's a Shockwave to take away Mimilaw's Disguise. But Faint Attack should finish Wobzy. No, it didn't. Okay, you missed at least, which is good. Ms. Mattels can take that. Okay, let's do that again. So, you can flame for it. You know what? You can just uh, Ice Beam Rowuni just to get a bit of damage off. And we'll just have you uh, X is a... Sure. Right, there goes Clint Cardos. Get a bit of health back. Good, good. Ice Beam to you. Does a bit of damage. And then X is a... Should be super effective. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I think because it was part normal type, it wasn't super effective to the um, to the dog type move. Oh, you actually got a second Pokemon. Okay. Oh, hi, Rowany. You're back now. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll flame for a Rowany. We'll Ice Beam. Hip Tot. No, we won't Hip Tot. Uh, we'll Twister to do a bit of damage to both. And we'll also X Scissor Hip Tata. Because again, if it's part normal type, it won't be super effective. Okay, XP, good, good. There's a Twister. Damn, okay, that's not a lot, a lot of damage. I didn't think Rowuni would die to the, um, the Flamethrower, so I wanted to use Twister to hit both of them and finish it off. Hey, my birds. Hey, suck it. Um, I just realized that you are, like, way, way, way too high. Let's, um... Let's move you in, uh, wait, no, I want to item, yeah, item, move. Let's give you to Emper Shop, let's give the XP share to Emper Shop, I think, and, um, let's give, yeah, give me the Mystic Water, thank you. I'm pretty sure I have a second one, don't I? Uh, yeah, XP share, there we go. Just to start getting Silver Ass and Emper Shop up, I mean, Kofferos here is 37, it's like way, way kind of, I won't say overleveled because we're pretty underleveled. Do you have any custom sprites? I didn't actually check. Oh, you do. You've got one where you. Oh, the shading's a bit better on this one, I think. Yeah, I, f I kind of like the the shading more. Although, um, Yeah, I kind of like this one more. We'll, we'll use this one. The shading's a bit better, I think. I don't really like the, the middle part. The, like, I don't know, it looks like an instrument across its face. What's in the grass? Um, what are you? Excuse you? Um, <laughs> Remouvoir. Oh, it's a Remoraid and a Gardevoir, but because it's got the the name Remove in it, they turned it into, like, a Builder. That's pretty good, actually. Let's flamethrower it. I 
kind of want to catch this thing. Calm mind. Yeah, that's fine. Boost your uh, special attack and special defense. You'll take less damage from the flamethrower, which is fine. Signal beam you can take. Good, good. And uh, it's time to now just throw some Pokeballs. Speed up the game. Water Pulse. Ooh, it's got Water Pulse because, of course, it's Pot Remory. It's right. Probably should have thought of that, but hey, we caught it. The Embrace Jet Pokemon. A removal uses its abdominal muscles to forcefully expel swallowed water. Then it shoots down flying prey. It will give its life to protect its trainer. Cool. I, I actually really like Removoir here. It's actually a really cool sprite. And I like that the name is kind of indicated of what the, the sprite or the or the sprite is indicated of what the um the name is. Uh we'll just use the berry. That's fine. 15, that's fine. I don't really care about wasting get uh, five. My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. Alright, guy, let's see your cool bird Pokemon, shall we? Oh, I'm really so excited to see your cool bird Pokemon. That's not a bird, that's not a bird, that's not a bird. None of them are birds. And only one is a custom sprite, which is uh, Lampetzler there. Lampetzler. Lampetzler is a horrible name. Uh, okay, Flamethrower. Spirit Cross, because you'll be Pop Bug still. We can Ice Beam. Nidobro. Oh no, you might be Pop Water type. So, yeah, we'll do it anyway, whatever. And you you just faint attack uh, Lampler. Spirit Cross, you Sucker Punch. Ooh, bye bye, Miss Mattels. Yeah, super effective. Ice Beam to Nidder, bro. Yep, not super effective. Bane Attack is super effective, though, which is good, and you can't get burnt because you are part uh, fire. Okay, Silver Ass has got to come out then. You can um, just go for a Draining Kiss on. Uh, actually, no, you can try an Ice Beam Spirit Cross. You can Ice Beam. Spirit Cross, and you just faint attack Lampler again. That's fine. Ice Beam, not super effective. I thought it would be. There you go. There's Lampler down. Alright, Silver Ass is leveling up, which is good. Ominous Wind should do a lot to Mimilor. Ooh, quite a bit of damage, actually, yeah. But that's okay. One Ice Beam should finish off um... Spirit Cross. We'll do Ice Beam there and then, Oh wait, no, 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 no. We will Dragon Rage Nido Bro and Mimilor can just sh uh, faint attack. Mimilor should be able to finish it off here, because it's Bark Ghost. No, you can't, it's not very effective. Why is it not very effective? Is it could you pop bug? And that didn't even finish you off. Okay, bye bye, Dragon Raids. Ah, uh, all right, fine. Come on out, Emperor Sharp. You can Draining Kiss, you can Faint Attack, and you can also Faint Attack. That's fine. We should be able to finish it off now. Oh, I, why didn't I just go for Shadow Sneak? Actually, Shadow Sneak wouldn't have helped at all, would it? It's a priority. Sh Sucker Punch is a priority move, so it wouldn't have mattered. <sighs> okay, fine. Come on out, Kofferos. Let's just, um, Ice Beam, yeah, yeah, whatever. Just do whatever moves you've got. It doesn't really matter. It will die as long as you don't all miss. Please don't all miss. Paint attack. Barely survived. Ice Beam finishes it off. Ah, oh, well, that sucked. We lost, like, what, three Pokemon in this one battle. Not ready yet. All right, well, let's go back to the uh, nurse to heal up. I'm just going to speed up and rush there. Hello. Oh, I keep forgetting that I can go down this way. That's right. There we go. Hello. Thank you for healing my Pokemon. Let's just go all the way back down here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. And here we are. Cool. Back to where we were. We've got one more quote unquote bird trainer. You won't have bird Pokemon, of course. Ryquil. Cyndaquil and Rhydon? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just play for it. Yeah, I didn't think it would do a lot of damage, unfortunately. And, ooh, it's a lot of damage. Okay, you know what? 
Ember Shot can come out, just hit a brine. It will be quite effective because this thing will be a uh, a rock fire. And you should be faster. There we go, you are faster. Good, good. Boom, dead. Good job, Ember Shop. Hey, let's fight together. I keep forgetting that I have to talk to these guys after battle. Nope, don't want to practice again. Teach Pokemon moves of the same element for more power. Let's fight. Oh, oh my god. Why does none of these people want to give me money or cool items? We got another biker here. Let's uh, very quickly just super potion you and you. And uh, yeah, you can just get restored too. That's fine. All right. Hello. No. Hello. There we go. Perfect. I need to burn some time. Biker Malik. Okay. Sloten. I don't think that's a custom sprite, but that's actually a really cool. Uh, Flamethrower won't be super effective because you'll still be pot water. You'll be steel water. And oh, water moves. That's right. Why do I keep forgetting if I'm fighting something with water moves? It will uh, be able to kill me. I really need to stop paying attention, I think. <laughs> Water Pulse, you can take a Water Pulse right, Dragorade. Perfect. And let's just, uh, don't know why Ice Beams. That was a waste of time. I meant to Dragon Rage. That was a crit, though, which is nice. There's a Steel move. Not too much damage, which is good for us. Dragon Rage does a guaranteed 40 damage. And there's a Psychic move, because you're part Slowpoke and you're dead again. Ah. Uh, uh. You know what? Uh, Ember Sharp can come back out, then. Just hit it with a faint attack. There we go. 400 XP and 800 XP for you. Oh, you got two Pokemon, okay. <laughs> Goalian, okay. It's a Ledian and a Goldian. You know what, just um, faint attack it again. That's fine. Faint attack is at least a stab move for you, so it should do a little bit more damage. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Good job, guy. Good job. You're not part water types. So you'll take a little bit more damage from water there, but that doesn't really matter to you. There we go. Level 35. Do I have any revives? No, I don't. I mean, technically, I could use the Rage Candy Bar to lower the level, and Rare Candies revive Pokemon that have fainted, so I'm... Wait. Is that... Wait. Where did that frog come from? Hold on. If I go up here... You know what? Nah, forget it. I was going to say, if I go up here, go to another route and come back down, will the frog just reappear? But it probably will if it's... Ooh, there's the mossy rock! Okay, what's up here? Being a biker is great. No one ever messes with you. Well, I'm messing with you. What are you going to do about it, huh? What are you going to do about it, Ernest? And it's back to doing uh, single battles instead of triple battles. It's completely broken. Uh, flamethrower. Not, not super effective, of course. There's a stockpile. Which shouldn't really matter too much, because you are part ghost, and stockpile is like a... I want to say normal type move. Play for her again. Can you, like, burn it, please? Maybe? Nope, there's a hex again. Okay, as long as you don't get hexed again, you should live and kill it next turn. Hey, you burn it, good job! Although hex is a special move, so it doesn't really matter too much. But, hey, you're going to kill it next turn. Good job, Nismatails. Tails. And Flamethrower finishes it off. Well done, buddy. Cool, cool. You're going to send out Sun Sunang. I'm not sure what Sunang will be. I'm going to say, like, Sunkern, and... I don't know what the Ang part is, but I'm guessing Sunkern? It is Sunkern! Sunkern and Kling Clang. Okay. Um... Go for a Draining Kiss. No, okay. The Ice Moves won't be super effective because it's part Steel is the problem. Really, Mismatails could have stayed out and probably... Probably just killed it in one shot with a flamethrower because it'd be quite effective. So it was kind of a, a dumb move for me to switch you out. But I thought you were weak enough that it's probably worth just switching you out. Car, car cough. Um, 
just go for Emperor Shop. Car, car, I'm thinking like, car, no, what would car be? Oh, slack off in a Charmander, okay. Uh, just faint attack. You will be fire normal. And you're dead. Wow, okay. Okay, Ms. Tails, you can just come back out, probably. We'll just hit, like, a quick attack. Why not? Didn't kill. Let it move first. Okay, doesn't really matter. Don't know why that didn't work, but all right. Oh, probably because it used counter again. That's right. Maybe giving your Pokemon supplements isn't the right way to become the strongest after all. I'll show you my Pokemon again. Nope. What about you? Raise the Pokemon is a drag, man. Wanna fight me again? Why do everybody want to just fight again? Uh, I meant to go into options first and switch it down to 2v2. And you know what? Let's just use some of my last super potions on these guys. Well, cool. Um. Okay. Have you heard of the legendary Pokemon? Yeah, I've got like a box, starting to get a box full of them and like fusing them into monsters, Benny. Arcanine and Cypher, Rhydon and... What's the real part of you? I honestly can't tell. It's obviously Rye is the Rhydon part, but what's the real? Um... I'm honestly not too sure. We'll try Flamethrower you. And we'll just try and um, Shadow Sneak you. Yeah, stab Shadow Sneak off, did barely any damage. Okay, Flamefro did a lot to Ryril. Ry, Ryril. What's the real part of your name? You look like a snake, but you're not like an Ekans or something. But I'm honestly not sure what the real part is. But oh well, whatever, it's dead. Numelo Grudel level 35, Silver Ask Grudel level 35, there's Wing Attack, Ms. Mattels can take it, good good. Vein Attack barely does anything, so let's uh, confuse Rayu and we'll just um, we'll just keep hitting Vein Attacks, it should be fine. Use Agility, that's okay, I'd rather you raise your speed than do damage to Ms. Mattels again. Uh, in fact, let's just uh, Super Potion Misma Tails for now on your turn, and you're just just try a slash. Why not? I kind of really want um, Mimilor here to learn like a fire type move. Finally, we've had Mimilor this entire time, and it's never learned a fire type move. Even though you're a ghost fire, and you're part Chandelure, so you should have fire type moves. Uh, just faint attack then. We'll just have to quick attack and faint attack. I'm not sure if. Um, Arcanine can have Flash Fire, which is why I'm not using a... You know what, let's just try to use a Flamethrower, why not? If it has Flash Fire, we'll just increase its attack. No, okay, it didn't have Flash Fire. I didn't think it could. Hey, my birds. Alright, let's quickly... Um, you know what, take a Soda Pop, buddy. There you go. Last of my soda pops, and I can't buy any because the machines just give me uh, master balls and stuff instead. Red apricorn, okay, not worth coming up here, but what's in the grass? Oh my god, I love it. Jigglypeon, so it's an Espeon and a Jigglypuff. It looks like an alien. I kind of like him. I really kind of like him here. Quick attack again. Roll out, you can take a roll out, right, buddy? Yeah, you can take a roller, even though it's super effective. Means you're gonna have to pretty much kill it like this to or catch it this turn. Otherwise, it will just start spiraling and uh, doing more damage. For some reason, I thought it was like Pop Mew when I first saw it. I was like, wait, no, it's Jigglypuff and Espeon. The Sun Balloon Pokemon. Nothing can avoid falling asleep hearing a Jigglypeon song. It is said to have developed precognitive powers to protect its trainer from harm. Is that why it has such big eyes so it can see the danger, like, incoming? What else? There's a Nugget, another Jigglypon, okay. Run away. Try one more. What are you? A Shell Reno. Shelda and Reno. 
but it's the part of shelter where it's just the thing inside the shell. Oh my god. Oh, it's a reeler. Raikou and Kingler. Okay, that's uh, whatever. Not a custom sprite, so I don't really care. Okay, well, I kind of like this area. I don't have Rock Smash, so that kind of sucks. Um, we want to use um, Mimilor and Mismatils. Let's put Silverass here just in front. We'll shock you with our twin power. You don't stand a chance. Kiri and Jan. Haha, <laughs> Kiri and Jan. Okay. Alright, let's kick Kiri's ass. Here we go. Uh, Miss Mattel's can flamethrower. Oh my god, Latpion is Latias and Espion. Nido Free should be. No, I don't think he'll still be Pop Bug. Uh, we'll just try an Ice Beam Latpion, because it should be Pop Dragon type because of the Latias in the front. Copied my stat changes. Okay, well, I didn't make any, so uh, take an ice beam. Hey, we froze it! Ha ha ha! Oh, it's got a red card. Oh. Oh, well, Mimilor's out anyway. Oh, Mimilor's gone anyway. Hey, what's up, Silverass? <laughs> and Silverass is back anyway. All right, let's uh, flamethrower, and then you can uh, ice beam again. That will kill them both. Socket, Jan, and Kiri. You guys suck. Yeah, yeah, you're frozen solid. Hey, guess what? Taking an ice beam. All right. For some reason, I always thought if you flay, if you hit a frozen type Pokemon. Oh, got another Pokemon. Gatlom, Gallade, and Rotom. Okay. Uh, Flamethrower and um, Water Pulse. Why not? No, a lot of damage from Flamethrower. But yeah. For some reason, I thought that if you hit a frozen Pokemon with a fire type move, it does like extra damage. I'm not actually sure. I know it gets rid of the frozenness. So you can hit your own Pokemon with fire type moves in like double and triple battles. Oh, twin power. You want to fight us again? No, you don't think you can handle both of us. I think I can handle you, um, whatever your name and Kiri. I definitely can handle a Kiri. Let's see, you are... You gonna battle me if I walk this way? This route is like completely changed. It's kind of cool. Oh, don't fall in the water. When I beat this guy, can he fall in the water? That'd be pretty good. Clef Sharp and Girawile. Okay. I like Girawile here. Doesn't look like it's a custom sprite though. Actually, it kind of. No, I don't think it is. Um, playing for a. Um, Clef Sharp, and you can just Ice Beam Gear while. Yep, yeah, cool, yeah, your part's uh, um, Steel. I'm pretty sure Gear while here is also going to be part Steel. Then Headbutt does nothing, that's fine. There's no PP left, okay, never mind. Uh, you, I don't think you can actually hit Quick Attack, can you? Oh, you can! Oh, yeah, because you're not part Ghost type. For some reason, I always think more while is part Ghost. But I think it is just like pure steel. There we go. Fall in the water. Care for a rematch? No. Oh, okay. We can't actually like do anything this way. Gyro ball. Okay, cool. How do I get out of here? Because it made me jump down. Staran. Okay, bye bye, Staran. Um, can I go this way? Wait, what? <laughs> you can just jump up. I was like, wait, am I stuck down here now? Can I, like, not escape? The game's like, nah, you can just, like, leap up. It's fine. I don't actually think these are mossy rocks to evolve Eevee in. What are you? Oh, my God. Bastasy. Bastiodon and uh, Blissey. Okay. That actually might be a good for grinding. Hold on. How common are you? It's a Ryish. Oh, never mind. The, the tail that I thought um, Ryril had that made it a part like a state Pokemon, like Ekans or something, isn't. It's just its actual tail. Huh, okay. Come on, let me find a, a Bastia, Bastiodissi or whatever its name was. 
Nope. That's a rampable. You've got a very rampable forehead, to be honest. You could, like, skateboard off that thing. Nope, that's a Talonster. Okay. I'll give it one more chance to find one. I guess it's not super, super common. And, yeah, not super, super common. Okay. I was thinking, if I, I just need to find a trainer that has a Blissey fusion, because then I'll get the XP for defeating a Blissey every time I grind off them. Should be pretty nice. You can't click on that cobweb. Yeah, hello, Rampable. Goodbye, Rampable. Yeah, yeah, Mole Breaker. Oh, that's so cool. Goodbye. Uh, oh. Oh, you're a little cutie. Well, thank you. I, I still haven't made a custom sprite because I'm terrible at sprite work. But, uh, hey. Oh, my God. Okay. What happened to the right, right, Rio's head on the, on the left there? It's, like, cut off. All right, you know what? You can, um... These will both be weak to Ice-type moves, which is cool. For some reason, the Electric move didn't hit the Pokémon that's part water, but okay. There's an Ice Beam. Should kill Ninebat. Nope. Uh, okay, try Confuse Ray again. Let's try to hit a Water Pulse then. Bye-bye, Ms. Mattels. There's an Air Cutter. Silver can take that. Water Pulse should kill it. Okay, Mimilor just faint attack nine back then, and you can just ice beam uh, Rydrio. Now it hit the right Pokemon, and it paralyzed it. Okay. And it could have. Oh, it could have finished off Silverass before it could kill Rydrio. Okay, well, that sucks. I thought that um, nine bat was fire flying, but it'll actually be flying fire poison because. Um, uh, you know what, Thunder Punch, that's fine. Because, um, the Dolbat part of it is a flying poison Pokemon, not poison flying. And that did a lot less damage than I thought it would. You know what, Shadow Sneak and, uh, Power Gem then. Meanwhile, this thing will be an Electric Flying, because I think Dotrio is a normal flying Pokemon rather than flying normal. I think that's how it works, because, like, technically there was no flying normal type Pokemon until, like, Gen 6 or something. All of the all of the normal flying Pokemon were that normal, then flying, not flying, then normal. The game went, like, 15 years without... Uh, oh, Ditto, Gloom, Golbat, Grimer, Hook, Ardris, oh, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Poliwag, Psyduck, Slowpoke, Vernonat, Weeping Belt, and Zubats. There's an old abandoned house in the swamp. My sister swears she saw a ghost when she entered at night. Okay, whatever. Uh, you're an aide. Hello. You found tw if you fuse 20 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an XP all. Hey, you actually gave me an XP all. Amazing. I thought it was going to just give me a random item. An item that can be used to share experience gains with every party member. Oh, that's amazing. I wish I got this a lot earlier. Because uh, I've been under level for quite a while. Yeah, technically, like, Pokemon existed for, like, a crazy amount of years without a single normal flying po or flying normal Pokemon. They were all normal flying, not flying normal. Just one of those weird, like, I guess, statistics that I've just kind of come to know. Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? I can teach you Iron Head. No, I'm good. Paris is abundant in the Safari Zone. Their effect spores keep giving me allergies. Achoo. Dude, you can't sneeze on me. We just gotta have a pandemic. Pokemon are everywhere in Future City because of the zoo and the Safari Zone. I love it. Alright, well, whatever. I did see the hotel down here. Let's go have a look at that in a moment. What's in here first? Oh. Um. Oh, Pokemon trainer, please try to keep your voice down. Do not to disturb my sleeping Mush Mushrana. Do you know about hidden abilities? I would assume no less from an accomplished young Pokemon trainer such as yourself. Thanks to my trusty Musharana's ability to peek into the dream world, I'm able to locate Pokemon with rare abilities. Right now I can detect some of the Pokemon around Cerulean City might have their hidden ability. Okay, that's cool. Like, she can actually detect where the, the Pokemon with hidden abilities are. Can we go and check that out real quick? Uh, let's go get the quests first, and then we'll go and check it out.
Oh, there's people downstairs now, hello. I heard that Koga, the Tim town's gym leader, got approved to be part of the Elite Four. But he had to turn down the offer to take care of his family here in Fuchsia City. You can use the move Moonlight and Morning Sun to wait for the night and morning when you're out in the fields. That's actually really cool, I like that. These are your current stats, I've done 16, oh I've done 10, that's right. Help 10 more people, I'll give you some goods. Uh, hi Chansey. Nope, you don't want anything, okay. A bunch of grimes have started appearing in Cycling Road, it's really quite unsanitary. I'd love to get rid of them myself, but I don't know how to fight. Um, I don't think I can get, get rid of all the Pokemon dirtying up Cycling Roads. I found this poor Chansey over in Safari Zone, could you help investigate and try to find the train it belongs to? Okay. Find the Chansey's lost trainer. I think you're a fast racer, I'll give you something if you can beat my best time up the cycling roads. Come meet me at the bottom of cycling roads. Okay, those should be nice and easy. Two, two at cycling roads to complete and one um, just exploring Future City. I just saw a back entrance there, hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, your darling Pokemon, they look so tense from all that fighting. You should let me groom them while you relax by the pool. Um, oh, no, 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 I'm going to come back here and off camera and do it with um, the, the Pichu Gyarados. Because that will raise your friendship and then we can get Pichu Gyarados to evolve and see if your fusion's cool. Um, okay, we're going to go up to uh, Cerulean City just to finish this episode off. Let's see, where is... Oh yeah, you guys went in here. That's fine, I think. Um... What I want to do is I want to take off... Let's take you off for now, Kofferos. Um, There you are, Nintu. We need you to have teleport. Nope. Let's go out here. It's only 7pm, so that should be okay. I think it will reset at, like, midnight games time. Again, the map just sent us here, which is weird. So we'll go up to Cerulean City. And we will go check out and see what Pokemon has the uh, hidden ability up here. And get... Hello? Oh, you want an Abra, that's right, and I can't catch you in Abra. <gasps> what?! <laughs> it's a shiny! <laughs> okay. Okay, um... Let's just throw Pokeballs at it then. Wow, okay, I didn't actually know you could get shinies. Or oh, maybe I did, and I just like... Forgot. Okay, we got a shiny Krukasaur. How do shinies work? Do they have to make separate sprites just for the shinies? The Seed Croc Pokemon. Krukasaur has specialized eyes that enable it to see in the dark. If it spends more time lying in the sunlight, the bud will soon bloom into a large flower. Well, okay. Do I... You want the Abra, right? Um, yeah, 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 looking for Abra. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't find one. I never said I found one. I need to catch a Pokemon that's part Abra. All right, let's see if we can find one with the uh, hidden ability. That's a Nido Rock. Okay. Bye. So, how do shinies work if you're they're fused Pokemon? Like, is it a case where I can unfuse them and have a shiny Krukarook? And a shiny Ivasaur, or is it just the Krukarook shiny? I don't know how that would work. Jolt Crow, no. I didn't think that finding Pokemon with hidden abilities took that long, because I have found one pretty fast before. Empotung. When did I catch an Empotung? What? That's Lickitung. Did I catch one of those? I don't even remember. Okay, we're not finding we're not finding any Oh wait, I know I know why we're not finding it, because it's not in this grass. It's in the grass to the left, isn't it? Over here. It's gotta be over here. <laughs> Trap grass, okay. Nope, goodbye. We'll try other uh, technically there's also grass south of Cerulean City. There's Shield Bat, which we caught before. 
Right, we're gonna try one more after this. There's no shield bat, okay. Run away. And... Trap grows, yep, no, we're not finding any hidden abilities here. Let's, uh, I'm just gonna speed up the game and go down south as well here. I guess we'll have to go into this grass here, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll just go back and forth here, why not? Oh, Nidoff! That's actually a real cute sprite, wow. I like that sprite. Didn't mean to jump down, but that's fine, there's still some grass here. There's another Nidoff. Try two more. Need off again. Is, this just, is it just going to be need offs over and over? All right, let's go try this grass then. Nope, need off again. Okay, never mind. I think the hidden abilities will change every in-game day. Alo <gasps> Oh, you're an Alakazam! You're part Alakazam! Hold on, we gotta catch you. We gotta catch you. I have to... get an Abra. So if I catch Alakazam here... There we go. No, don't want to give a name to Alakaras. We need to catch a second one. Hold on, we need to catch a second one. Oh, this is where we caught Vaporu! That's right, I remember this now. Yeah, Vaporu was in here. All right, there's another one. Okay, good, good, good. We need to catch another one. So let's just speed up the game. Throw some uh, Pokeballs. Nope. Throw some Pokeballs. Nope. Throw some Pokeballs. I don't think I can really weaken this thing, so it's kind of like a... All right, I guess I'll just keep throwing Pokeballs and eventually you'll get caught, right? Right? We need to catch two of them because we need to unfuse them and hopefully... No, I don't want to nickname you. Alright, cool. Alright. We can we can complete this quest, I think. What we can do, since we just happen to be right here, and there is a PC. I know I said we were gonna do two fusions an episode of the um the the binary um thingies. Hey, there's the shiny crucosaur. Okay, cool. So we gotta unfuse these two. Hopefully we get a male and a female one. Then I can breed them and then get an Abra. And ah, unfuse, yes. DNA splicer, yes. Okay, so we got a male Alakazam. Okay, let's unfuse you. Yep, yep, yep. Female, female, fi it's another male. All right, I'm gonna sit here and grind and try and get a female Alakazam. And then we can. Um, yeah, you guys don't have genders. That's weird. I'll sit here and grind and get a female Alakazam, and then we can breed them, get an Abra, and go up to the aid up there. And um, I guess we'll experiment with the uh, shiny Krukasaur, which would be cool, but yeah, that's for next time.